Hey everybody, it's Carmen. Welcome back to my channel and today it's my August mix. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my makes. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss the next time I upload. August almost got by me, but we're going to start off with McCall's 8165. 8165, this was for the So Your Name Challenge. This is the Carmen pattern, Carmen McCall's. I did uh, view A, the shorter dress. This looks sort of, it has a very caftan type of a feel for me. The fabric that I chose was a double gauze that was sent to me by Metro Textiles New York. It is really a yummy fabric up against the skin. Very comfortable, very cool. Uh, I have to admit that pairing this fabric with that pattern gave me a hospital gown vibe. I put some trim in the front to kind of set that off a little bit. I do love the way the sleeves are done here on this pattern. They are sort of like a raglan style uh, sleeve. I love the flutter of it. I really do love the lightweightness of this dress. It is perfect for poolside. Moving right along is Simplicity 8336. I made the top that you see tied up there. It's actually that top there, but I loved the way she, the model had it worn tied up on the top. And that was my intention at first. I paired this top with the Cynthia Rowley shorts, uh, Simplicity 1371. I made these pants earlier last year, or maybe it was earlier this year, and I had a real issue with the crotch. It's very long because these are high-waisted pants. My daughter-in-law helped with the drafting of the shorts, which really gave me a much nicer fit. Actually, I'm, I might be able to go just a little shorter still in the front, uh, but uh, you know, spending that time with her and learning how to do it correctly was really very helpful. The top is this beautiful white linen that was sent to me by Metro Textiles New York. Another one, it's got great weight to it, beautiful drape to it really. It just hangs nicely on the body. Um, I had these buttons in my stash. I did mess up on the one button there. It's kind of too much over on that side, but that's okay. I love the way the two pieces look. It's a great summer look. The shorts are made from a denim with beautiful little white daisy flowers on it. Again, great weight, uh, great weight for uh, a bottom. This is, uh, it has beautiful darts in the back. It has these pleats in the front, which I still think gives me a little bit too much volume in the front, but um, someone, one of you wonderful, genius subscribers said turn the pleat into a dart so that's what i'm going to do next time i love that they're high-waisted and i love that they have the pockets in the front this is really a great uh, outfit to wear to a picnic barbecue or uh, just to run out to the store very quickly i love the way this one came together next was my attempt at a bathing suit this is butterick 4526 4526 i made view c with the rounded neckline. And I paired it with a vintage pattern that I had, Quick Sew pattern 479 for the bathing suit cover up. This was a good first draft attempt at a bathing suit. My issue was when I first put it together, the neckline sagged out. Uh, and I wasn't, I don't know why. Uh, I did not follow the directions for installing the elastic. Maybe that was why. I, uh, I, I sewed it on and then uh, did like a double hem with that. They initially wanted you to make a casing all the way around the neckline and then feed the elastic through. When I went to pattern review, someone said she did it this way and it turned out just fine. I had to take the elastic off, shorten the elastic, and then reinstall it the same way I did at first. It lays down a little bit better, but I'm not 100% with this one. Um, I, I, like I said, it's a good first draft. I am willing to try it again. 
The cover up I really love. It is $2 fabric bundle that I picked up at Walmart. It is a very simple construction. This one really is a quick sew. There's no interfacing in it at all. It has a self facing. And I really love the way it came out. I love also uh, to try, I, I tried using the bathing suit top as a layering piece on some of my other uh, garment pieces that I have and really like the way the look is. So this is, I know, a piece that I'll be wearing, whether it's by the pool or just out and about. I really love the look on that. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you what I'm wearing. This is McCall's 7116. 7116. I made this one a couple of years ago when I first came back to sewing. So it's not really one of my best works. I love that it has elastic at the uh, neckline here and you can pull it down a little bit off your shoulder if you want that cha-cha look. And the skirt is cut on the bias so it has a beautiful flow when you're walking. Hey, if you're looking for some more sewing inspiration, check out these videos here and I'll meet you there.